Hey everybody, welcome. So I'm going to show you guys a few techniques on editing portraiture. So I've got this image up on the screen and what I'm going to do is I'm going to come over here and I'm going to hit Command J on my keyboard which duplicates that layer. So now I have one preserved down here and I can work on this one. So first thing I'm going to show you guys is under filters, <clears throat> liquify. So amazing technology, Photoshop magic, ladies and gentlemen. So we've got this tool right over here, the Forward Warp tool, and I'm going to click on that. <clears throat> the secret to this uh, edit, this tool, is to whatever it is that you're trying to move or manipulate, you want the brush to be about the same size. So you can use the bracket keys to increase or decrease the size. And I'm just going to click and push just a little bit. I'm going to push this in just a little bit. I'm going to push this side in as well. Right up in here. And I'm just narrowing down the image just some. Now what I'm going to do is I'm going to zoom in. I'm going to make the brush a little bit smaller. And I'm going to start tucking just a little bit right here. Okay, maybe make the brush a little bigger, just like I said, about the same size. Come down just a little bit. There's just this little spot right here. And then while I'm here, I'm just going to take this and just push in just a little bit right there. Okay, so <clears throat> one thing that I notice is, is that her eyeball right here on the left is just a little bit smaller than the one on the right. Well, if you come over to the right side of the panel, you see that it's got eyes. And so I'm just going to take the left eye and I'm just going to nudge that up just a little bit. Okay, and there's, look at all these wonderful uh, automated technology. So face width right here. So if I want to narrow the face down just a little bit. Forehead, do I want to raise the forehead, lower the forehead? So there's there's a lot of experimenting that you can do, but uh, be mindful that l in instances like this, less is more. So the subtlety of it is, is the best way to approach that. So I'm going to click OK on that, and I'm going to zoom in just a little bit. Well, actually I'm not. I'm going to just click this eyeball on and off and you can see some of the differences that were made along the, the fabric, along the hips, the lower arm, and that eye is just a little bit uh, more in line with the other one. So <clears throat> what I'm going to do is I'm going to merge down, create a new layer, and what I'm seeing is is that there's a bit of a gap on this side of her head where I know she's got it pinned back, but I wish there was more hair on this side. So I'm going to show you guys how to uh, how to handle that. So what we're going to do is we are going to zoom in to 100%. Going to scroll up, and I'm going to grab the Quick Select tool right here. So use my bracket keys and I'm going to click and I'm going to choose this hair on this side. So one click and it chose the hair but it also chose a lot more than that. So I'm going to grab the option key and I'm going to hold that down and I'm going to minus some of the selection. I don't need all of that. Okay, and I do want a little bit of this, and I don't need that. Okay, let's bring it back. Okay, so up above you have Select and Mask. So I'm going to click that, and the second brush down, Refined Edge Brush right here. So again, bracket keys bigger and smaller, the plus sign that is in the middle of this. You do not want this to roll over onto the other part of the selection. So you want to keep that 
off of it. But what you want to do is you just want to click and drag around and it'll pick up all these stray hairs. And then I, I do want to go in where the white background is behind in these parts right here. A little bit down in here. A little bit right in here. Okay, so now I'm going to go OK. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to duplicate that layer. I'm going to go Command J. So I've duplicated that selection. The next step is to go over to Edit, Transform, Flip Horizontally. Okay, now I'm going to move, <coughs> grab the Move tool. I'm going to take this section, I'm going to move it, and I'm going to place it roughly right in this area. Okay, it's, it's not looking real good at the moment, but the beauty of the layer mask is going to reveal itself shortly. So I'm on this layer. I'm going to go down to the bottom. I'm going to grab the third tool over and I'm going to click on that. It added a layer mask. So the principle of layer masks, white reveals, black conceals. So right now you're able to see through the mask. But if I go Command I, change this layer mask to black, it is now hiding that moved selection to this side. So we're going to go over here. I'm going to grab my brush tool. I'm going to make sure that my uh, hardness is around 38. Um, and I'm going to slowly, I'm going to ha I have 100% opacity flow down to, let's say, 60, 62%. And I'm just going to slowly start building. my way out. I'm painting in the selection. I'm allowing it to show through. And the further out that I go, it picks up the other parts. And so if you switch, if you toggle between white and black, you can reveal or conceal. And so I just want to sort of conceal some of that right there. Where you got a little bleed over onto it. Okay, and then I'm gonna go white to reveal. I'm gonna come down here. I've over over painted a little bit right here on her neck, so I'm just gonna bring that back. And <clears throat> I'm going to show you another nice little trick. So there's a few sort of see-throughs. It's not quite as um, as thick as it as it could be. And so a neat little trick. If you just on this layer right here, if you just duplicate that layer. Now pay close attention to the hair on this side. Duplicate that. See how it filled in? And I'm going to duplicate it one more time. Okay, so I'm going to hit top. I'm going to shift click to these. I'm going to put them in a group. And I just want to show you. So there's before and there's after. So really nice technique. And let's go to full screen. And so now we've done you know, we've thinned her down a little bit. We've done a little body sculpting. We've changed the uh, size of the eye, and we've given her a little bit more hair. So that's my tip for today. Uh, thanks for joining me. If you like what I'm doing, please hit subscribe, and I will catch you guys next time. Please stay safe.